Welcome back. Jeff Frick here with Silicon Angle. We go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise, we try to get the smartest people we can find, bring them on air, ask them the questions that you wish that you could ask them if you were here. Again, we're at the Accelerator uh, corporate offices in Mountain View, California for their enterprise platform launch. And uh, we've already talked to some of the executives, but now we want to talk to some of the partners who are out in the field. So I have with me Ashu Goel, the CEO of Windwire. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, Jeff, appreciate it. So let's talk about, you said your, your company specializes in collaboration and analytics, but here you're at kind of a mobile application development platform launch. So tell us a little bit more about the company and then tell us how collaboration and analytics ties into what's going on in mobile. Absolutely, uh, Jeff would be delighted to. Um, in fact, uh, it's very interesting. Our whole mission as an organization is what we call making information actionable. Uh, we've been working at it for around six years, um, developing collaborative and analytic solution for mid to large size enterprises. Most of the work that we have done in the past has been around web, uh, but one of the common things is people collaborate no matter where they are, uh, and, and they are on the move a lot. Uh, similarly, people need information at the point of making a decision not only when they are sitting in their office and have access to a laptop that is connected. And so mobile has become a huge factor in making information actionable for us. And that's the reason we are really excited about platform launch uh, with Accelerator. Great. So, so talk a little bit about mobile first. I mean, I, I always joke, I've got teenage kids, and you know, they, first of all, they don't do email. Um, and two, the mobile, nev I mean, I have my mobile with me pretty much all the time, but they have it with them all the time. So talk a little bit about how kind of a mobile first strategy is changing the world and also um, kind of the big data and analytics impact of getting data from these devices versus how it's traditionally been gathered via, you know, uh, desktops. Absolutely, be more than happy to. So one of the things, if you really think about what's going on in the environment today is, in the traditional enterprise, we used to build a lot of large monolithic applications to solve problems. That word is completely changed now, and, and it's a very good example. If you really take a look at your phone, on an average, you've got you know, 70, 80 different micro apps. Uh, if you want to uh, check weather, you don't go to www.weather.com today. You just go to your weather app, and, and, and you have immediate information availability. That's what's going on in the enterprises too. People who are on the move are looking for these applications that deliver information to them just the right amount at the, at the time when they need it. Um, and as a result, the demand for developing apps have increased significantly uh, when you're on the go. Whether you look at it uh, you know, from a big data perspective, at the end of the day, the crunching of the data that's going on in the background needs to deliver some actionable information for the execs or the person out in the field to use. And I think that's really what we are seeing with the mobile. Um, most organizations have realized that it's a competitive advantage issue. Um, they have to innovate. They have to uh, deliver more value to their customers out in the marketplace. And, and that's really, we are seeing a huge uh, uptick in, in thinking about mobile first, if not mobile only, in many of the scenarios. And our belief is that moving forward, uh, majority of the new application development is gonna be mobile first, if not mobile only. Great, so we've got, we're, we're getting backed up. We have a lot of great guests lined up, so we're gonna cut it short, but I'm gonna give you uh, one more question. Talk about, again, we have a lot of CIOs that watch. Where should they start? How do they start? You know, they know they need to start, they wanna do it. They're being told they can't just move their desktop apps into mobile. You know, what is the best way for, for someone to get started down this mobile path? I think the best way and for most of the uh, CIOs uh, is to really take a look at their application portfolio. Uh, not every application needs to be mobilized. I think you need to look at the applications that have the highest business impact, and you need to really focus on mobilizing them first before moving on to the rest of the, uh, the applications. So start small and then move really fast is, is really the way to go. All right, Ashi, thanks for coming on and providing a little insight. Again, we're at Accelerator, Mountain View, California, at the Enterprise Platform launch. We've got a few more guest lines up. We'll be right back on theCUBE.